Hi, so in this tutorial I wanted to go through some of the um, the functions of an if function. So there are different types of um, criteria that you can put in. So we've been through a basic if function which is um, the premise that if something is true then a word will be displayed and if it's false a different word will be displayed. So that's the premise of an if function. So let me, for example, show you how that works here. Now I'm going to type this in manually. I have been through it, how you can do it via the formula tabs up here and inserting it there. But I'm just going to type it in manually. So I'm going to do equals if. Basically, I want to know if the top speed is of the, these are a list of cars, sorry. If the top speed is more than, say, 150, I want it to display the word fast. So I'm going to refer to this speed here, which is cell reference B2. I'm going to type that in manually. If B2 is greater than or equal to 150, display the word. So I'm typing a comma, display the word fast. And if that's false, just display the word normal. Okay. Um, and then I can close the brackets. And as you can see, because that's lower than 140, 150, sorry, it's displaying normal. If I drag that down, it'll tell me the ones that are greater than 150 are fast and the other three are normal. So that's the basis of an if function. I'm um, just going to get rid of that. Um, and there may be questions that come up to kind of catch you unaware or maybe to complicate things even further. But basically they have more than one criteria. So for example, they may have um, the criteria that, for example, if I wanted to buy a car, I want it to be faster than 140 miles per hour, but I also want it to be less than £15,000. So I want it to be able to reach a certain top speed and I also only want to pay a certain amount of money for it. So I wanted to put in a formula based on that criteria, which is basically more than one criteria. For more than one criteria, we'd use an AND function within the IF function. And I know it starts to get complicated here, but just try and bear with me because I'll put that in again. So we do the same thing. So it's equal if and we open the brackets. And this time, instead of adding, going straight into the logical test part of it, we use the word and to imply that we've got more than one criteria. So we've put in and and then we open brackets again and then we can put in basically however many logical arguments we want, but that be one, two, three. In this case, it's two. So I want top speed, which is B2, to be greater than 140 miles an hour. And then put in, put a comma for our separate criteria. And I also want the cost to be less than £15,000. So I want C2 to be less than 15000 OK. Once I can close my brackets then, add the comma back in. And it goes back to being a regular if function, so I can type in the words that I want displayed. And if not, so I'm going to display the words value, if that's true, or any, if that's not applicable. OK. Once you've finally done that, you can close the brackets. So if before I press enter, let's just go through this. So you've got 
the beginning of an if function equals if and you've opened the brackets then you've got and so what and has done is give us a little extra room a little bit more criteria to add in as you can see highlighted by the red so it's given us if b2 is greater than 140 and if c2 is greater than 15,000 that's the criteria we're using um, the second part stays exactly the same so you would use as you would in a regular if function um, the value or not applicable press enter and as you can see that one's not applicable if I drag these down Now, what this has told me is that none of these cars are applicable in the sense of that none of them go faster than 140 miles an hour and cost less than £15,000 at the same time. What I've done here is included basically B2, the top speed being 140. Well, greater than 140. I've not included 140 miles per hour. I can do that in the same way as the other tutorial I've mentioned, as if you add an equal button. And what that does now is include 140 into that criteria. So what it's basically saying is if B2 is greater than or equal to 140 and C2 is less than £15,000, if that's true, display value. If that's false, display NA. Now I can click enter again and you can see out of all of them there is one car that meets that criteria which is the Vauxhall Corsa so it goes faster than 140 miles an hour and it is less than 15,000 pounds there are other ways to use the function as well you can instead of using the AND function for example, if you need both criteria to be true, um, then I would use the AND function. If I needed only one criteria to be true, for example, if I only needed it to be um, less than £15,000 and I didn't need it to be over 140, I could use, I could replace AND with the word OR and it's still an IF function but it becomes basically one of these criteria has to be true but both don't have to be true at the same time so if I press OK once I've done that and drag that down it will fill it in and it will tell me that each one of these then fills one criteria or the other and that basically sums up how to do a if function using the AND and OR functions within that.